D'accord, hier soir, vous avez bien dormi dessus ah, J'ai très bien dormi. Ça faisait longtemps que je n'avais pas si bien dormi en pensant au Brexit. On a euh, euh, la Grande-Bretagne maintenant qui, euh, à la semaine prochaine, pour euh, montrer qu'il y a une volonté de, de vouloir euh, faire quelque chose de constructif et de vouloir euh, continuer dans l'engagement le, qui a été pris aussi par euh, le gouvernement. Euh, si on a ça, on a après jusqu'au 22 mai. Pour moi, c'était une des conditions euh, sine qua non, pas après les élections européennes. Et puis on a la date du 12 avril. Est-ce que donner 10 jours de plus comme ça, c'est pas prolonger la souffrance hein La vôtre, comme celle des Britanniques hein euh, C'est pas prolonger la souffrance, c'est tout simplement avoir une volonté de trouver un accord, c'est le but. Hein. Vous savez, l'espoir, c'est ce qui euh, meurt en dernier chez moi. Et euh, le, le, si on arrive à, à trouver un accord, c'est dans l'intérêt de tous. Donc si c'est se donner une chance et laisser à, à Madame May le, la possibilité de trouver un accord dans les, dans les prochaines heures et jours, parce que si j'ai bien compris, elle n'est pas là maintenant. Elle m'a écrit ce matin pour me dire qu'elle partait à Londres déjà pour euh, commencer euh, son travail et euh, convaincre. Donc euh, vous voyez qu'il y a une volonté de, 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 de travailler. Voilà, merci à vous. Mein Land, aber der ist näher gekommen gestern Abend. Ja, das eine hat mit dem anderen nichts zu tun. Also Brexit ist äh, eine Scheidung und äh, mit China so. Und wir sehen, wie wir die, die Zusammenarbeit äh, zwischen zwei Kontinente weitermachen. Und äh, Brexit ist gestern Abend für mich gut gelaufen. Und ich bin überzeugt, dass wir mit China auch äh, eine Beziehung, eine Vertrauensbeziehung brauchen. Und äh, zumal, ich weiß ja, dass die Frage ja im Moment ja auch ist mit den 5G und mit Huawei äh, auf, äh, in Europa. Und ich bin der Meinung, wir sollen dann einfach ein, ein Sockel von Regeln haben, die dann äh, für irgendjemand, der 5G in Europa machen will, ähm, die respektieren soll. Weil China ist auf der anderen Seite, die Amerikaner sind auf der anderen Seite. Wir hätten gar Garantien und die sollen für alle zählen. Sorry, if I... Um, I, 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 Teresa is not here this morning. Teresa May wrote me this morning uh, that she won't be here for the meetings today, that she is already in London. So that's the proof that she really wants to, uh, to do everything she can to, to get this deal through, also in Westminster. And uh, this is, uh, I think, a proof that uh, there, there is a will to find agreement, and I support her. Well, also, wenn wir uns diese drei Wochen nicht geben und es kommt nicht zu einer, ähm, zu, zu, zu einer Zustimmung, dann haben wir einen Fehler. Wenn wir es fertig bringen, in den nächsten Tagen oder Stunden, auf jeden Fall nächste Woche in Westminster, auch eine Zustimmung zu bekommen, dann hat es schon rentiert, diese paar Wochen äh, mehr zu geben. Wie gesagt, 29. März haben wir nicht festgehalten. Das kam ja von der UK. Und wenn die die Frage stellen, ob es ein bisschen länger sein kann, für mich was ausgeschlossen war, war, dass überhaupt noch eine Möglichkeit wäre, nach den Europawahlen noch irgendwie eine, nicht eine Klarheit zu haben. Okay, tschüss. Hello, Sky News. Um, we're told that European leaders weren't terribly impressed by Theresa May's presentation last night. Were you, and do you think she's got any chance of passing her deal in Parliament? If I'm right, Theresa is even not here today. She wrote me this morning for during my breakfast I got an SMS from her that she won't be there because she's already in London trying to uh, convince the uh, members of parliament uh, to 
to support the, the deal. I think she did the best possible. She did really the best possible. I know the, the situation is very difficult. Um, I know that she also has no answer on all the questions. There are so many questions and we even don't know uh, which will be the questions also in, uh, in London. But uh, I think to prove that she's not here now, but really in London, because she knows that the time is ticking and that we don't have that much time, is a proof that she takes it really serious and she wants to pass the deal. But we heard that European leaders last night, some of them were not reassured by what she said, that she could really get this through, that she had a plan that they could have confidence in. She knows that she's dependent on the MPs. It's, it's, she, she lives in a democratic system where the MPs are free to vote how they, they want. And so she can't say here that she's, she has a guarantee that it goes through in London. That's, that's fully normal. I can't tell you what will happen in my parliament next week. My MPs are free. I was an MP for 15 years, so I know what I'm speaking about. The fact is that she wants to do the, the, the best possible uh, things to pass this deal. And that's the reason why she's this morning also in, in, uh, in London trying to convince the MPs for having maybe a vote next week. And I hope that we will have a deal. And so this, this, this new delay is, is good if we are able to have a deal. We heard that President Macron put the odds of her uh, passing the deal next week or as low as 5%. What are your odds? 50-50. And are you worried by that? No, but uh, I can't change it. You know, your referendum was, I regret your referendum, I regret the outcome of the referendum, and I regret the divorce. So uh, I hope that a deal will be there. And so I, I even would love 51-49 and 51 to remain would have been even better for 51 to get a deal. Do you, think, you, do you think the EU did enough to help Theresa May? Oh, could you, could you, you have given her a little bit no, more? No, 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 it's not cherry picking. I'm so sorry, but you can't... I already said it six months ago last year. You were in and you wanted a lot of things, a lot of opt-outs, a lot of special regulations for the UK. Now you want to be out but with a lot of <laughs> advantages like you would be in. This is not possible. So it's all you are a member of the family or not. And the fact is you decided to leave. You decide. I don't know how you voted, but the electors in the UK decided to leave the European Union. And we, you, can't, you can't have all the advantages. So I think it is the best possible deal. Uh, for the UK and also for Europe. What for you is the best possible outcome now? Is the best possible outcome for you a long extension or what? The best possible outcome would be new referendum and to stay. <laughs> that would be the best Mr. outcome. Mr. Minister, you said that Theresa May has a will to get her deal through or your deal through. No, it's but our deal. It's yes, not my deal. It's our your deal. deal. Yes. Does she have a plan? Uh, she, she, I, I, she, she, she's already in London now. That's what I said. She's already in London to 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 to, to explain her plan and to say what she wants. I think she she's. Has a plan in she has a plan, but the problem is she doesn't know the outcome of the vote. So she has different plans. There is not only one plan. The problem is we prepare, but the MPs decide. So we need to know what will be the decision of the MPs in the next days. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you.